A good morning to our morning moments with Jesus family. The Lord takes us back to 2 Timothy chapter 4 this morning because there's a very important verse in there that perhaps could help some of us today as we journey through life. We may not be at the end of our course yet, but along the way there's some things that we need to reconcile. And in 2 Timothy chapter 4 and verse number 11, and in verse number 10, he begins to speak about the fact that one by one it seemed like everybody had kind of left and gone to do their own things. And as he faced the end of his life, he says in verse number 11, it seems like only Luke is with me. But he asked Timothy, he said, I want you to take Mark and I want you to bring him with you, for he is profitable to me for the ministry. Now why that verse is so important to us this morning is because during the time of Paul and Barnabas' ministry together when they were in Pamphylia, Mark was with them and Mark chose to leave them and go uh, back uh, and not uh, continue on in the ministry and in the missionary journey at that time. Well, Paul took exception to that, and it ended up uh, allowing Paul and Barnabas to separate and go in different directions in their ministry. Now, at this point in Paul's life, he says, I need to reconcile that with Mark. I need you to bring him with you because I need him to know that even though we may not always see eye to see eye, to eye even though... I may have been a little quick to judge that moment of his life. I need him to know that he was profitable to me in my life and to my ministry. I need to reconcile with Mark. And so the Lord speaks to us this morning and asks this question. Is there anyone you need to reconcile with? You may not have always seen eye to eye. There may be some situations there, but God says this morning that a grudge can quickly turn into a crutch. And a crutch, whether it be physical or spiritual, can tremendously hinder your mobility and your ability to move forward in life. I've often heard it said, the hardest thing to live with is regret. So if it be possible today, ask the Lord to give you wisdom and discernment on how to go about reconciling with whoever or whatever it needs to be before your journey is over. The other side of that is if there is someone who is reaching out and desiring to reconcile with you. Don't rob them of that blessing or yourself. Allow that reconciliation to take place if it be possible under the will of the Lord Jesus Christ. Because Paul knew this. He did not want Mark to live with what could have been, what should have been, or what would have been. And Paul did not want to leave this earth with the same regret. So he said, I want you to bring Mark with you. I need to have a sit down with him. I need to have a talk with him. And I need him to understand this. He brought profit to my life at one time. Encourage yourself. Encourage someone else today. And bring that reconciliation through the Lord Jesus Christ. He's the only one who can reconcile. I pray that blessing over you today. And God will give you the strength and courage to do whatever needs to be done. And you be safe, you be strong, and you be blessed. And make sure that at the end of this day and the end of your journey, you're reconciled with others and reconciled with Christ. Amen. Amen.